that have been quite interesting. Oh, wait, looks like they're going for them. Oh, 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 oh my. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 video. That's right, we're finally back in the game. It's been quite a hot minute since we've been in. I mean, last video you guys had was the Battle Royale, which... Due to the video's sake, we're going to have to get ready for another one already. Don't blame me if you didn't like it. Too bad. It's Frontier's fault. We're going to have to do another one. But why is that? Well, because today we're going to be covering the paid-for part of the newest update of the game. Because that's right, it is the Late Cretaceous DLC, which is the fourth DLC of this game. Or fourth of this year, if I'm not mistaken. Because we had... The Deluxe, when the game first came out, we had Early Cretaceous, Camp Cretaceous, Dominion, or at least Partial Dominion, because we're still waiting on those damn Atrociraptors and everything else that's missing. I need my Coco skin, guys. But today, we're not going to discuss Dominion. We're here to discuss the update of the new dinosaurs. And we're going to actually start over here in the Lagoon, which you can already see some changes, which this is part of the free update, which... I'll do a video on separately, but as you can see, we've got quite a few things. But for the new species, we have four. And the first one we're covering is not actually not in there. Where is it? Aha, here it is. It is the Stichosaurus, which also I need to um, incubate, because I totally forgot about that. Oops, ha. But anyway, let me just um, double check that everything else is ready. Okay, yep. Okay, yep, sorry about that, guys. We do have them ready, but let's start with the Stichosaurus, I believe. I can't remember how to pronounce it. Well, okay, first of all, they sound awesome. And look, gorgeous, I must say. A nice little change for another um, Plesiosaur. I like the change in look, which this one comes in a hatchery limit of three. And also, interestingly enough, apart from having some beautiful calls, I must say, this guy actually is unique from all of them, because if you may have not heard, these guys also have a bioluminescent genome, which, if we go into night settings, let's just go to park, nope, not park, oh yeah, this is a change for the um, environment as well, which, where the heck is it? Oh, here we go. God, this is going to be confusing at first. But, if we go and take a look now at night... Oh, sh Oh, for gosh sakes, I changed the power settings. Okay, guys, I got it fixed, but if we go down now and look at them, voila, we have a bioluminescent, and if we look at the others, do they have it? Oh, no, not this one. Or this one. Oh, so is it like specific skins or something, or patterns, I must say. Which, oh, wow, that looks, that looks, hold on, let's pause and let's get that into capture mode. Which, also, there's been a change to capture mode, as you can see, we've got um, postcards, which... If you, say, you, um, visited, um, Jurassic World, and you want to get your, um, postcard, guess what? Here, before you leave Jurassic World, or in this case, the Showcase Park, here you can get your picture of Nightmare Fuel, actually, which, actually, let's frame that so we can see both of them. Very nice, that is, mwah, beautiful. Greetings from Jurassic World, a nightmare, which, that actually looks super creepy with the bioluminescent on the eye. That is cool, but... Let's go in capture mode. Ooh, yes, guys, it's a moving postcard. Digital versions. Technology has changed. But I, love, I would really like that. Although, I will say, it is kind of weird how... Um, it, just imagine if this was um real life. If we um go back onto it. Like, just imagine this being real life, like, during prehistoric times. I know they probably didn't have it by luminescent genes, but just imagine this. You're um, a stichosaurus, 
and say you got to watch out for other larger plesiosaurs or mosasaurs that are in your area, I, I don't think, and especially in the middle of the night, because then it's difficult, but um, I'm pretty sure having a light on your neck that screams, hey, bite me here, is not really helpful. So, while it is cool, logically, it doesn't make sense. And also, we're going to actually need to go down. Also, you may have just noticed, how did I do that? I just went down. Is this mods? No, this is part of the free update, which is awesome as well. But also, we got some lights here for more free stuff, which this... Oh, that Indominus looks so cool. But I can't stay there too long. That's just a little tease for the update. But let's just release the other ones, and then we'll go into um, the... Uh, what is it? Species Viewer to take a look at them and all their skins, but let's see which ones we have here. Ooh, we've got a shiny one and another one. Okay, so, oh, we've got two bioluminescent ones in this batch, which is interesting. So it looks like the one, I think it's, well, these are different, actually. No, that's a green one. Does, oh, this one doesn't have a pattern. Okay, that's why. So, yeah, it's the pattern that's making that. That's interesting, but that is awesome. Now, we can actually go back into day because, well, you know, we kind of have to. And yeah, honestly, like, also, like, oh, it looks so clear. Yeah, actually, they've done really well. Even in the dark part of it, like, there's still some fog and stuff. But yeah. Oh, another thing for the free update, guys, just to mention it, is that there is actually, the water is much clearer. Because, like, one of the biggest issues people had was that if they were viewing them from this, they couldn't really see. Like, if we go to lower, which is, um, X, yeah, X. Like, normally, it would be impossible to see, like, anything. And already, as you can see, you can see one of the Styxosaurus there, and also one right there. This, like, even with the Mosasaurus, the biggest one here, you wouldn't be able to see Squad. And I actually like it. You can even, I think you can even see the Indominus Rex right over there in the center, which, honestly, is going to be really awesome for thumbnails. Probably the free update is literally going to be... Yeah, I know that, buddy. You had to interrupt, but I'm prob as I was saying, that Indominus skull with a Mosasaurus is probably going to be the thumbnail for the free update video. And Styxosaurus, of course, is here, which honestly, like this prop, apart from, what is it, um, Chronosaurus, which also came in a DLC, this guy's got the most colorful skins, which I think is because, like, honestly, the aquatics kind of have a struggle with their skins, especially, like, Moses, the Mosasaurus of them. Like, those ones really don't have great skins, honestly, especially in the water, let alone outside. But this guy, again, looks really nice and nice variety in all of them. Like, this one, ooh, Yukon River, nice. I saw, I think that was one of the ones that I liked when we were unleashing them. And also we got a Svalvard, Amazon Rainforest, which actually, that's a nice blue. And then with patterns, honestly, which, yes, the patterns, I believe, are the ones that actually give it the bioluminescence. So I think if you don't have a pattern on, you won't get them with the bioluminescence. Although, to be fair, these two are the ones that we had on these were the two skins, Paparana and Pulcherana, that were showing colors. Or was it Chalcarana? It was a yellow and green, so it might be just those two, but I don't know. We'll find out, honestly, when we do these guys in more parks. But honestly, I love this guy, of course. It's awesome, and, you know, can't wait to see what I use him for, especially with the new free equipment that will be for the Lagoons.
but we need to move on as well because we've already looked at these. Next, we're going to actually go into here to the flying species that has been added, which this one is a controversial one. The oh, whoa, oh, look at him run! It is the Barbadactylus, which oh, uh, oh. Uh, uh, hold on, guys. We um for we forgot to turn off the audio and stuff. Which uh, sandbox setting? Nope, se settings. Audio, main volume, voice. Since you're not Ian Malcolm or Claire Deering, I'm afraid I have to silence you for now. But anyway, as I was saying, here we have the Barbadactylus, which is a fun fact. We actually recently saw these guys in Prehistoric Planet. But that is where the controversy comes, because if we um, pause, actually, if I think that's... Oh, no, that's a Gene Stabergia, but here's one lined up nicely who's ready to eat. One little issue that fans, myself included, kind of have is, unfortunately, they decided to put a little crest on its um, horn on the back. Which, you may be wondering, what's the big deal? It looks gorgeous and, like, is really good on these patterns, which I must say, this one looks absolutely gorgeous. I love that red with that nice, sharp green. Ooh, stealer. But, the problem is, for prehistoric fans who just literally watched it, like, I think it just came out, like... It came out only a few months ago, like in November, I think it was. Good God, it feels like ages ago, but maybe I have to rewatch it and stuff. But Barbadactylus well, was an awesome one, but also hide your babies from it, because if you've seen it, you know what happens to those babies. But I wish they had have not put the crest on, because realistically, you would just see the little horns. And you even see the outline of them, but... Who knows, I, there may be a reason or stuff, maybe they just weren't allowed to because of copyright issues, but, and again, they do have Walking with Dinosaurs, Diplodocus, and Polacanthus in here, so, uh, maybe a question mark? But hopefully for future pterosaurs, they don't um, cover up that gorgeousness and make, because it does look cool and stuff, I love the shape of the beak with that little hook. It's kind of like Sungariptus, it's a small one, but also just stands out a little bit more than the others. But, and also with these colors, it is gorgeous. Like, honestly, with the DLCs, they've really fixed some of the skin colors for them. Oh, look! They're all sitting with the Geonstabergia, and, like, that looks cool. Oh, that is just awesome. Like, hold on. Let's go into capture mode again. Come on. Here we go. In Jurassic World, you can see... Or, actually, let's change it. Let's see, what do we have? Greetings from Jurassic Park, take a trip to Jurassic World, and, oh, so we got a few, actually. We got, like, this one, and then we have the stamps. What are the stamps, actually, like? Oh, those are nice. But you can take your trip to Jurassic World and see some pterosaurs, including Geonsibergia, and Barbadactylus, which I like. Like, Barbadactylus is one that I wasn't familiar with too much. Like, I only got to know more about it thanks to prehistoric planet and I think a lot of people can understand that but I really do like it I love the colors on it already like these are awesome and that's just from a batch of five which that's how many they can have for max right let me double check yeah three to five which is awesome and let's release a few more oh we're getting oh wow they're like wait we want your fish too yay Woohoo! Oh, look at them flying so nicely. Ooh, another red one with the green. Very nice, but this time a pale body. Of the pterosaurs, here is... B we've got... And here we are with Barbadactylus's skins, which honestly, again, like pretty much almost all the pterosaurs have really colorful ones. Especially this guy and, um... The, especially the smaller ones, actually, I've noticed. They are really colorful. And, ooh, Great Sandy looks very nice, actually. And this one actually might have my favorite skin likes looks for them. Ooh, and a pink one, Amazon. Amazon that's Amazon? Oh, jeez. That's very lovely, I must say. And this one's really cool. I love the um, Gambia River, the green with the mix of the pinkish red. That's very nice. Although Mangrove Forest is a good one, and with the patterns as well. Honestly, like, some of these patterns aren't really good, and it's unfortunate because, like, if you look at, like, this one especially for Paul Charana, it really highlights the, um, where the horn would be, and not really too much on, like, the little crest that they added to it, which, again, is kind of a shame, like, because, yes, there are some bright pops of color there, but, like, these skins, especially this one as well, Chalcarana too, they really highlight that, um, crest, but... 
it is what it is. It's still an awesome inclusion, but just would have liked to see it um, without that. Ooh, I like the contrast. That would be nice for females and males as well, again. Have them both with that sharp color, but also, you know, identify them from their body color. Which, well, actually shade, sorry. But we gotta move on now from these cute little flyers, although we'll have a video specifically for all flyers because, ho ho, a free update has come which just makes us love them even more. But now we need to look at the two dinosaurs because we've looked at the prehistoric creatures that are not dinosaurs. But let's start with the sauropod, which is the Almosaurus. And it's huge, spiky, and a tank. And looks pretty cool. And oh my god, this thing is chunky. Oh, and it's got a nice call, actually. Oh yeah, there's the second one. I was like, wait, it said two. Also, isn't it kind of weird that, like, this chunky one can have two, Brachiosaurus can have two, but, like, some of the other ones can't? It's kind of weird, like, Mementiosaurus and um, Dreadnoughtus can't, which, kind of weird, because I know Mementiosaurus is a little bit taller than Brachiosaurus, but still, kind of weird. And here it is, and actually, both of them share the same green pattern, which I'm pretty sure I put them on random. Yeah, because this one doesn't have the same pattern on the top, but that looks cool. Like, I can't remember how the patterns will look. We'll look in the species viewer, but these guys look really, really nice. And also, I'm going to pull out Brachiosaurus just to see a little comparison to how tall they are. And, like, I think Brachiosaurus is still taller than them, because, like, Mementiosaurus is the tallest, then it's Brachiosaurus. Biggest in general is still the Dreadnoughtus. Not in height. Oh, yep. Ooh, these are actually some nice color ones. I like the green on this one. Although I love- I still love this um, animation. It's just like, you can't even fit it in frame. Like, I love that with sauropod animations for the most part. It's only like with Kamarosaurus and Apatosaurus that they don't really have that. Now let's see, is it taller? Yes it is, it is still taller, but this one has got a much thicker neck, like Jesus, that... I, this thing would be a tough one for Indominus Rex. Well, not really, probably, all the carnivores can probably go after it. I think raptors can too. Oh, he's taking a little nap, he's had a long day. And... Bleh. But, oh, I, oh, oh, oh geez, he uh, just went floppy squitch. That, that was weird. He's like, nope, I ain't lying down. It's too cold. <laughs> Understandable. But these guys are actually real. I really like them. I hope we can see. Let's release two more just, you know, because I got some in here. Let's just see if we can get any different ones. Oh, oh, we got. Oh, yeah, this one's definitely different. Look at that red, brown, green, and a bit of blue. And he looks so sad. Oh, that's a shame. But. Ooh, that is nice. Ooh, that's a strong call there. Now I wondered, will they have any animation changes or stuff? Because I've heard that I've heard from some people that there is a unique animation for these guys. I don't know what it is though. Oh, but they're staring each other down. Oh, what's this? Oh. Oh, Brachiosaurus having none of that. Oh, that's cool. That's not the new animation. I'm pretty... Is that a new animation set? I've never seen sword pods react with each other that way. 
Oh, look at Brachiosaurus. He's like, yeah, you're still shorter than me. <laughs> oh, yeah, and we got another green one, but this time with a brighter green stripe. So we've got a plain one here, a plain green one with a bit of dark spots. We've got this guy. Yes, Brachiosaurus, you're still my favorite, but this is his showcase. And then we've got this guy with a green and purple stripe. And then we have this one with a dark brownish green and a blue and red spot, which, very nice. And here we are for Almasaurus with his skins. And if we just like, for example, let's just start on S Saran Desert and let's start with him blank, which this is what it looks like pretty much blank for all these patterns, which actually, you know what? Honestly, I think they've definitely learned for um, the skins with, um, sauropods especially, because, like, if we, um, went to, um, Brachiosaurus, for example, or Apatosaurus, because it's right here, like, even with a pattern, that literally doesn't even show much, like, it has, well, actually, Apatosaurus is okay with the patterns, it just isn't as big, like, literally, all it is is on its back, but, like, skin-wise, it's, like, some of the colors are okay, but for the majority, they're not the greatest, honestly, for some people. And even, like, Brachiosaurus is, is much worse, which is a bit of a shame. But for this guy, like, literally, all of these skins are actually really good. And, like, for example, patterns, I would say, like, honestly, the best one to use is probably Rana if you want it on the full body. But if you want certain colors on the top there, I would definitely say Chalcarana here because that one looks really good. But, you know, that's just me. Oof, it's getting a little tense here, but we may need to move on, guys. And I haven't seen their animation yet. I will probably mention in the little comments or something. Or maybe if I find it later, I'll show you guys. But we need to go... I think there's some in here. Yes, we have the Predator, which coming all the way from... Oh, oh for gosh sakes, really? Blocked by what? There's literally no dinosaur... Oh, for gosh sakes. Where's an Austro... Come on. Where is one? There's one. Okay, release it. There we go. All the way from Australia. Ooh, ooh, a little snappy snap. Ooh, ooh, he's got a little dance for us. He's like, look at me, I'm bossy. Ooh, and a little bit of a scratch. We've got the Australavinator. Australavinator, sorry. Which, honestly, something I was not expecting. Although I will say I'm very happy to see another Australian dinosaur come to the park. And also, whoa, ho, ho, these guys got some skins, man. Look at, like, hold on, let's just pause on these three, get into capture mode, take the postcard off, and um, look at these skins. Like, hot damn, that is awesome. Like, you've got this orange one with some blues and yellows. Ooh, that is nice. This green one with some brighter greens and orange. Oh my god, these guys look awesome. It's like, oh, that is so, it is so weird, but I love it. Like, And also, I love the unique look to it, actually. It looks like, it kind of reminds me of Herrerasaurus, which um, is like one of the only, like, in-between large, in-between medium and small carnivores. This guy kind of reminds me of them, too, and I really like that and such. Kind of an underrated dinosaur Herrerasaurus is still. Especially because it's only one of our only Triassic ones still. Hopefully we get a Triassic DLC in the future. But, honestly, not bad skins for you guys. And also... Oh, oh wait, these guys did release. Yes, let's see any other ones here that have different colors. Um, let's see, we got you, we got... Ooh, this is a nice dark looking one. 
Looks like these guys were the batch that came without patterns, which... Fair enough. Well, no, this one's got a... This one's got a... Ooh, 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 a little bit of a sass. Ooh, he's got a nice rattle to his tongue. I like it. Australiovenator, which is pretty cool as well. He's got some bright colors like this Desert of Saran, which is just like... He's got a massive sunburnt and also... Ooh, we got a... That's a nice one. Limpo... Limpopo River. Quillian Mountains is very nice as well. We've got quite a few, and this one's very colorful, I must say. And then with the patterns as well, they're each very good, which honestly, like, all of these work, like, especially if you want really unique ones on the face. I actually like Chalcorana, especially on the face for this guy. Or even, like, Pulcherana, actually. is a really good one, I must say. But, we also need to see how it reacts with other things, so let's first test out with a Megalosaurus, because it's a medium carnivore, and I know the Herarosaurus can go after them. Ooh, we got a green Megalosaurus. Also, it's, it's still funny to me that it's called a Megalosaurus, even though there's no Meganus about it. It's pretty small. Ooh, looks like we may be getting a contender to... F Ooh! Ooh, he's got some fight in him. Did you see that? Ooh, that... Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me... Let me pause in a second. I love the simple ones, too, sometimes. Let's see how you do. Oh. Okay, well, maybe I found the Mega in his name because... Well, that was brutal. That was quick. And he's like, Yeah, free food! Score! Oh yeah, you guys need food, right? I set the carnivores up for food. Ooh, looks like we got another size up. Ooh, let's see what he's... Yeah, so there, he does like a little chomp action and then he um, does a little roars to show he's tough and he's ready to go. But the Megalosaurus is like, I already killed one of you. I don't want to embarrass you even more. But also, we'll need to um send an ACU after... Ooh, we got a nice run animation for them. Let's see, let's get him out of here before we release the Indoraptor, but actually, let's release the Homalocephalus, you know, they always have the most brutal animations, like, oh my god, I could do a video about them. It's like, the worst dinosaur to be in Evolution 2, a Homalocephalus. Oh, look at the little rubs, Oh, oh, that's so cute, and oh, look at their eyes, they're so cute and big. Oh no, hunting down, what's going on? Let's see what it is, how does he do it? Oh, 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 no. Oh my god, that is, uh, again? Very, very brutal. Oh, let's see. Hold on, let's, um, get into capture mode so we can, um, go spot by spot. It looks like he's going for this one. He's like, I love my life. And they're like, oh, we're a big happy family. Except for, you know, the stare down between that practice or some... It looks so funny. He's like, you dare come into my town. And they're like, uh... We're supposed to be friendly. It's like, no, I'm a badass. <laughs> and this homalocephalus is like, I have nothing wrong. Meanwhile, the attack is coming from the side. But let's him play. So he jumps up. And also, ooh, he's like, he's a little off course. But he manages to time it just right. And he's got these claws. Oh, look at that for like a... Okay, that is cool. Like, look at those claws. Oh, and he, like, sort of misses, but just grabs hold of him, and, oh, poor Homalocephalus. Okay, that's got to be the thumbnail. It's the hug of death for Homalocephalus. Oh, and even the claws are in him. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, that's unfortunate. He's like, ha hey, I got you. And he's like, oh, for God's sakes. Why can't some carnivore be nice to me and adopt me? But let's back it up. So he grabs him, holds onto him, 
and oh, it looks like he was gonna bite him, but then oh, oh, and he kicks him. He kicks him like a cat, like slashes them, grabs hold of him, and then just flops him. And God, that is just oh, look at that stretch, man. Ooh, if you were in yoga, ooh, you'd be killing it. So introduce. The Indoraptor, which, Homalo, you gotta run. And we've got a white one today to fit with the snowy environment, you know. Even though it looks more like it would be in the desert, honestly, with this white. Which, oh, I would have loved to see how they would have made it look in the movie for Fallen Kingdom. And also, nice scaling as well. I wonder... I'm pro Oh, looks like we may already... He's already going for something. It's either Homalo or he's going for... Yeah, he's going for that poor Homalo. Well, we're gonna get a bonus. How does how brutally does he kill? Oh, we got two. Oh, oh, picks him up. Oh, 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 and bites him on your face. And he's going for it. And the catty scratch. Oh, I like the way they gave it a nice behavior. It's like a cat. Oh wait. Oh, hold on. We're good. Let's see. Pyroraptor and the um Australia veneer. Who's going to hit? Okay, you're on thirty-five. Ooh. Ooh, so you're winning right now, but... Ooh, Pyroraptor backs off. Ooh, what a... Ooh, you got a... Ooh, fight victory. Ooh, that was a new little thing. That's cool. Oh, so there's new icons as well so, to inform their status. And it looks like he's running after something. That have been quite interesting. Oh, wait, looks like they're going for them. Oh, oh, ooh. Oh, my... Oh, my God, Jesus, that was... Oh, my... Hold on. Pause on that one. What the hell just happened that... Uh, did he just, like, slap? Oh my god, that is so brutal. He, so he doesn't stab it, but he smacks it to the ground. Okay, that... That's cool. Ooh, a little bit of a spark there. Very nice. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, so he pushes him around and then gives him pull. Oh, finally! Oh, oh, wait. Uh, okay, well, it seems to me that the Indoraptor was unfazed by their threat, which honestly makes sense. Like, literally every small carnivore stands no chance against Indoraptor. Before we go, we need to do something very important. We need to get the Australia Venators out of their enclosures. Come on, guys, everybody out. Oh, yeah, also, we need to release the Barbodactylus, which, let's go, because also this is a cool glitch. Oh wait, here we go, we got another hunt. Or not, where where are you? Where's your prey? Oh, there we go, now he's hunting. He's like, oh, come on, I thought I was faster. Oh. Okay, the way it sounds, you'd think that they would actually just be eaten. So now we've got some Barbodactylus out here, because also this is just, it is just an awesome animation. There we go, we got some more Barbodactylus. That should be enough for now. We'll save some for later. And I know what you're thinking. Austin, how are you doing this without mods? Well, you'll have to stay tuned for another video because, trust me, it is awesome. And we've got some guys out here. Let's see. Australia Venator. Looks like he's... He's stalking something. There's not a person around there, is there? Oh no, it's a Pyroraptor. He's, he's like, I can sense your presence. Oh, 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 I just missed one. Oh, come on. Really? Of course you find one person in the areas where there's nobody around. Really? Go get someone else. Oh, wait. Oh, hoo, hoo. we could. Oh, we could have something. We could. It's a Barbodactylus coming from above. The attack was not from the ground, but from above. Let's see. Oh, he's got a lined up. Let's drop him. Oh, let's see. Oh, which one did he get? Oh, my God. Did he just impale it through the... him? Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. The other ones are like, Jesus Christ. What the hell? Oh, and that... Oh, that is brutal. He He's stabbing in the back. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. He was still alive! <laughs> I love it! Jeez, that is awesome. And these two are like, oh god, stay down. We're dead. Okay, that was cool. So, 
the Barbodactylus landed with his snout in him, like hooking him, because it's got that like hook-shaped beak, and then literally like re pulled it out of him. He was still alive, and unfortunately, he got stabbed again. Though I'm pretty sure after the first one, he was paralyzed. Oh, and another per oh, an Archean of the Mimus, unfortunately, is um, gone. What's the? Ooh, Barbodactylus is going after Homalo. Ooh, let's see how this looks. Let's go into capture mode. And uh, let's see. Oh, uh, he's going for this one and grabs it. Ooh, does a little few hops and grabs him and kills him. Very, very interesting. Let's see. Ooh, a very colorful one today. He's going for it. Oh, why didn't I do this sooner? Oh, where? which one's he lining up? It, it's difficult. Oh, it's the green one today. And picks him off. Very nice. Very nice. Very good. Very expert. Meanwhile, anyone over here getting eaten? Nope. Anyone over here? Oh, he's phasing through the ground again. Oh, another one. And he oh, grabs him by the back. And... Oh no, yeah, oh no, you're dead. Hold on, we might get a better look at it this time. Let's see, who is he going? Oh, it looks like it's the this group of people. Let's see which one. Let's get into capture mode, get this all ready. We might be able to get a thumbnail here. Oh, look at that. It's like, run for the trees, he's coming for us. And, oh, there we go. Oh, picks, oh gets off her, she's alive still, and stabs her again! Ooh, noise! Oh, I just heard someone, someone went, oh, oh, that means they're dying. Where are they dying? Oh, this one's like, haha, I've got you surrounded. You're in the borders of the map. Alright, anything going on over here? Can we, oh, we got, oh, we got one in the shadows, unfortunately, but... And grabs her, and... Bam! Oh, very nice. Very excellent. Expert work. Now, can we please get an Australianator killing someone? Like, on screen. Ooh, look at him. Oh, this is a nice shot. Just looking around the trees. Oh, wait. Oh, there's one. There's one going for people. Oh, no, he's looking for food. Really? Oh, we might finally get someone eaten by one of these Australianators. Which, if I can squeeze down here, which I can. Ooh, let's see. Let's see if we can get a fun... Oh, that is a cool pose, honestly. Like, look at that. It's like, wee! But, he grabs Hole, puts his hands on her, and rips her... Ooh, rips her neck twice. Ooh, that is expertise in killing, sir. Now, can we see one more in the open? Oh, here we go. We might finally get one proper... Oh, uh, here we go. We might get a thumbnail on this one. This one's the job. Oh, he's unfazed. Look at him. He's like, huh, this is minor leagues. I don't think the uh, Australia Venator agrees with you. So, guys, that is going to have to wrap up the video, unfortunately. I know, not as big as we were hoping, but you know what? A DLC is still a surprise. For all those who are worrying that we won't get the Dominion stuff, don't worry. I, I assume that they're probably going to wait until Christmas. Because, judging from their schedule, this probably means the next DLC will probably be in December. Around the same time the early Cretaceous one was um, released, actually. Jeez, that, that's a weird thing to think about. This game's almost been a year long now. Jeez, that's scary. But... Until then, guys, we're going to have to enjoy the Australia Venator, the Barbodactylus, the uh, Almosaurus, and the Styxosaurus. And hopefully we get to see lots of things with them. Plus, also, of course, there's the free content that came with it. All the new customization with lights and st stuff. We've got it all. And also, let's see what's going on here. we got one more picking of a Homalocephale as these guys have just been going after them. We'll see Barbodactylus finish us off for this video after he gets him ready. And hoo There we go. <coughs> there we go. Very nice. He gets it. And guys, that is going to have to wrap... Oh, wait. What? Oh, wait. Hold on. Get back over there. 
I think he just killed someone. Oh, yes, very nice. This Barbodactylus was being very brutal. But, guys, until the next video, where we'll see more Jurassic World Evolution content, be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye